Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how you can apply name ranges for formulas that already exist. In other words, formulas that already have cell references. For example, over here in this worksheet, I'm using the sum function and say sum this reference of cells from B5 or this range of cells from B5 through B14. What I would prefer to do is to substitute this reference to a range and say sum last year. Likewise, over here, instead of using a range of cells in the sum function, I'd like to create a named range called this year and use that in the formula. All right, we can first come over here into the name range drop down and verify that we have no name ranges. So our first challenge is to create a name range. Now, there are at least two ways to create a name range. One way is to select the cells that you wish to name and then come over here into the name box, type the name, and hit enter. My preferred method, and the method that I'm going to use in this lesson, is to select the cell that contains the label that you wish to use for the name range. Now, on the Formulas tab on the ribbon in Excel 2007, Excel 2010, come over here and define names and use Create From Selection. Notice that there is a keyboard shortcut, Control Shift plus F3, which you can use in any version of Excel. Click OK. What we want to do is we want to use the cell label in the top row to name the range of cells directly beneath it. Click OK. Now, when we come over here into the Name Range box, we see that the name that Excel created was last underscore year, because there cannot be any spaces when we name a range, and a range must begin with a letter. So now there is our name range. Once again, I want to come over here and I want to select the cell that contains the label that I want to use for the range of cells. Formulas tab and the ribbon, define names, create from selection. And if you use an Excel 2003 or earlier, you would go to insert name create from selection or use the keyboard shortcut control plus shift plus F3. So I want to use this label which is in the top row of my selection to name the range. So now you can see that I have two name ranges last year and I also have this year. Now what I want to do is I want to substitute those name ranges for the cell references or the range of cell references. So the gotcha step over here is to select the range of cells that you wish to substitute a name for. So now that I've selected them in the formula and what I did is I just simply double clicked inside that cell, highlighted the range of cells, formulas tab of the ribbon, define names and the drop down for use in formulas. In this case, what I want to use is I want to use last year or last underscore year. Click enter, control enter or use the enter button over here. So now you can see that my formula is using that name range. Likewise over here, double click or use F2 so that you can edit in the cell range. Select that cell range that you wish to substitute a name range for. That is going to be your gotcha step. Formulas tab on the ribbon, use in formulas, and in this case I want to use this range as the name that I wish to sum. Click OK, click Enter, click Control Enter, or use the Enter button. So now you see that I'm using name ranges to sum this year, name ranges to sum last year. Over here we have a variant. So our formula is to say C5 minus B5. What we want to do is we want to use inside this formula this year minus last year. Now one way to do this is to select an individual formula and then highlight the cell that you wish to use as the substitute. So in this case C5 is this year. So use in the formula, in this case I want to say this year, and then over here highlight this part of the formula, use in formula last year. And I'll use control enter, and now you can see that for this cell it's this year minus last year. 
Now, notice over here that in the remaining cells, I have cell references. So it's really a very easy way to copy the name range reference down through the cells that contain cell references. All you have to do is use the autofill. So now that you can see that I have for each cell this year minus last year. Or I could come to the formulas tab of the ribbon and I could say show the formulas. So over here you can see that I have some last year, some this year, and over here for the variance I have this year minus last year. All right, now let's come back here. Let's use the toggle to click this off, show formulas. What I want to do here is I want to create a named range. Remember that what I've shown you before is I've selected the cell that contains the label and then selected the actual cells that I want to use the cell D4 for the label. This time I'm going to show you just that different way. I'm going to select the cells that I wish to name, come over here into the name box and type the name. It must begin with a letter, cannot contain any spaces, and make sure that you hit the enter key. So now to confirm that I have that named range over here, variance, I click it and there you go. So now what I want to do down here is I want to use the name range variance and apply it to this formula. So this formula with cell references is D5, which is the variance divided by last year. So I highlight the part of the formula that I wish to substitute a name range for the cell reference. Use in formulas and this time what I want to do is I want to select variance for this part and over here I highlight it and use in formulas what I want to do is I want to say last year. Click OK. Now if you wish you can apply this to multiple cells. If you select multiple cells ahead of time and come over here and say use in formulas what I want to do is I want to supply the variance divided by last year. Use in formula will be last year. And in this case, remember I selected a range of cells, so I want to hit Control Enter and now have that apply to all of the cells that I had selected ahead of time. Now, what about this cell reference over here? Remember that ahead of time I had created the name ranges this year minus last year. However, that's not going to work over here because this is actually the sum of last year. This is actually the sum of this year. So really what I need to do is I need to create a named range over here and I'll call it TTL for total uh, LY for last year. What I want to do over here is I want to create a name for this cell and I want to select it and I want to use TTL for total and I'm going to call the TY for this year. So now for my variance, double click, highlight this portion, in other words the C5, I want to get over here using formulas the total for this year. And over here, what I want to do is highlight this, use in formulas, and I want to use the TTL for last year. So uh, TTL for this year, TTL for minus last year. Click OK, and there you go. And likewise over here, what I want to be able to do if I want to substitute a name for the cell references, remember I have variance, but I need to create a name range for the total variance and divide that by the total for last year. So once again, click in this cell and over here I want to put TTL and I want to put VAR for variance. Remember to hit enter. So now over here when I double click or use F2 for this portion of the formula come over here to use in formulas and I want to use the total variance and for this part of the cell highlight it and then use in formulas what I want to do is total for last year control enter 
and there you go. So now if we either come over here to the formulas tab of the ribbon and click show formulas or use the um, keyboard shortcut control plus tilde which is CTRL control plus the tilde it's the same thing control plus tilde or show formulas is going to toggle to show the actual formulas or the result of the formulas so there's a great way to apply names to cells and use them in formulas after the fact and if you like this tip I have 50 tips that are just like this on my DVD ROM the 50 best tips for Excel 2007 uh, these techniques will work for any version of Excel as will most of the 50 tips and I will look for you in the next lesson